this three phase motor I have now, from the winding of this motor, total six wires are there for connection. By using this six wires, I want to make a starter, that is star delta starter. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to do power wiring of star delta starter with every basic detail. Like I told you, I have this three phase motor and inside this total three windings are present and from these three windings, total six wires are coming out for connection. The wire which is coming out of motor is connected to terminal box of motor. But the motor which I have now has no terminal box. Directly from windings, wires are coming out. Friends, when you are going for connection of any motor, then before connection, you have to identify the wires. Let us first discuss about how to identify the wires. After that, we will move on to connection. To identify the wire, you have to use a multimeter. And in this multimeter, set this to continuity position. So this is set in continuity position. Let's check once. Okay. What you have to do here, listen carefully. These six wires you have coming out of motor, you have to check for continuity in these wires. For checking continuity, the wires connected from motor in these cables, we don't know that which wire is coming from where or where to connect. So to identify the wire, first what you need to do is put a tape on one of the cable among one of these. So I put a tape on this cable. This cable will be first cable now and this is second one. Now what you have to do, listen. In this first cable, at any one of the wire, connect one probe of multimeter. I connected the probe of multimeter with red wire. Now in this second cable with the red wire, connect another probe of multimeter. Here I am getting the continuity. If I didn't got the continuity here, then I will connect the probe with other wire to check. We just have to confirm continuity of this wire is getting with which wire here. Here I am getting the continuity of red wire with the red wire. So I will make a note here for identification. First I will write that in the first cable, so cable number 1 and cable number 2. Red wire of cable number 1, I am getting continuity with the red wire of another cable. Cable number 1 is the one with red tape. In the second wire also we will check the continuity. Connect one probe with yellow wire and connect another probe with the wire in another cable. I am connecting with blue wire here. You can see I am not getting any continuity. Let's check with yellow. Here I am getting the continuity. This means continuity of yellow wire is with yellow wire of cable number 2. It may be possible that the cable coming from motor in these wires of cable you will get the continuity randomly with any wire. Here we are getting the continuity in same color wire but it may be different in your case. So it is important to check this. We checked red wire and the yellow wire. Blue wire is left. Let's check this. We are getting the continuity of blue wire with the blue wire. So here according to color coding wires are connected. After this much identification of wire you can start the connection of motor. To make star delta starter you have to use total three contactors and this overload relay also. So here this overload relay, this overload relay will be connected with any one contactor. What I will do is to this first contactor I am connecting overload relay. This overload relay which is connected to a contactor, this contactor is our main contactor now. Here you should keep one thing in mind that to the contactor at which the overload relay is connected, this contactor will be our main contactor. Now what you have to do, listen carefully. If the wires are not coming out of the motor from inside, then connect separately a wire by yourself for connection with starter. Among these two cables, connect any one cable with output terminal of overload relay. For now what I will do, in this cable number 1, take all the three wires and connect them with output terminal of overload relay. Ok, before connections, do one thing, keep the phase sequence in mind. Phase sequence means the first wire, I mean red wire, you have to connect this wire at the first terminal. At T2, you have to connect Y phase power supply and at T3 terminal, you have to connect B phase power supply. So R, Y, B in this sequence, you have to connect the wires. After this, the main incoming power supply you have, I mean the three phase power supply coming from MCB, take this power supply and to this main contactor at these upper terminals, connect this supply. So I will connect the wires according to phase sequence only. At first terminal, I am connecting R phase power supply. At second terminal, I am connecting Y phase power supply. And at third terminal, I am connecting B phase power supply. You have to connect these wires in star connection and delta connection. For this, you need two more contactors for connection. 
One contactor will connect motor winding in star and second contactor will connect motor winding in delta. So the other cable you have, take the wires of this cable and to this delta contactor you have to connect the wires. I am considering this contactor as my delta contactor. Now take all the three wires of the cable and to the delta contactor at output terminals connect these wires. So with these three terminals I am connecting these three wires. With the first terminal I connected the R phase wire. At the second terminal I connected Y wire and at the third terminal I connected B wire. So in R Y B sequence connection is done. Now in this delta contactor at the time of connection at input terminals you have to keep one thing in mind. What is that? Listen carefully. I am keeping this aside. The drawing I have in this drawing look at this symbol. This is of delta connection. If you only want to run the motor in delta connection then connect the motor winding in this way and simply R by B phase power supply has to be connected here. If you provide these three phase power supply to these three terminals then your motor will start. Right now the wires which are coming from motor is in open condition. I mean we have three windings and all the three windings have six different wires. All the six wires are different but we have to connect the wires in this way. For connecting in this way we are using the contactor. If you want to connect motor winding in this way then what you have to do to this winding here you have to provide two different power supply. You can see here this one winding in this winding here R phase power supply is connected and here Y phase power supply is connected. This winding got two power supply now. In this winding also Y phase and B phase power supply is connected. To this winding R phase and B phase power supply is connected. Overall the concept here is only to provide two power supply to this winding. Now let's come to the starter. In this starter we have from the overload relay here the power which is supplied from here from now let's take R phase. So R phase power supply which is going inside motor in return it comes to this R wire only. The power supply in return will go to another phase power supply. To this delta contactor for providing input power supply take three wires. I have three wires here. Take these wires and connect with input power supply. You have to connect according to phase sequence only. It means connect red wire with the red wire, yellow wire with yellow wire and connect blue wire with blue wire. You can see here according to sequence connection is done. After this these three wires here take other end of these wires and to this delta contactor at input terminals connect these wires. But here you don't have to maintain phase sequence. We don't have to do because I just told you that in the winding of motor we need to provide two phase power supply in delta connection. To implement this you have to interchange the connection. As I told you before power supply from Y is going to Y only and power supply from B is going to B. So what we will do with this R phase wire here connect another wire with this wire. Except R we have here yellow and blue wire. What I will do is connect yellow wire with this wire. You can connect blue wire also it does not matter. So I am taking this yellow wire and to the R phase wire for providing power supply connect the wire. The power supply at this point will go through this wire. Now to the Y phase power supply wire here we have to provide power supply through another phase. So we have red and blue. Blue cannot be connected here so we have to connect here. With this blue wire here I am connecting the red wire. You can see here that power supply from red wire will go to this yellow wire and power supply to yellow wire will go through blue wire and this blue phase wire is connected with red wire. If I do only this much connection then our motor will run in delta connection because we perform the whole wiring of delta connection. Now if you want that motor should also run in star connection then what you have to do with this another contactor here you have to make star connection. For connection in this star contactor simply take three wires. Take these three wires and connect with these three. If we even interchange here there won't be any difference. What I am doing is with R phase connect R wire, with Y phase yellow wire and with B phase connect blue wire. As per the sequence I did the connection. Take other end of wires and connect directly here. You can connect anywhere it does not matter. Simply I did the connections over here. Now in this star connection the upper terminals here short these terminals. You can see I made a loop of two wires and connect this with all the three terminals. It means terminals are short with each other. 
So for this star delta starter, power wiring is completed. Before providing power supply to this, we must check the wiring again. Because if you have done any mistake by chance, then short circuit may happen. So check at least once before starting. For checking the connections, what you have to do, take this multimeter and set this multimeter to continuity position. After setting this to continuity position, take one probe of multimeter and to this overload relay, connect this probe at output terminal. Now the power supply comes from here, is going to which point, you have to check this. For this, we have to turn on the contactor, along with this, we have to check the continuity. With this terminal, I connected probe and turn on manually this contactor. There I am getting the continuity. This means from here power supply will come through this wire and through yellow wire it will move further and connected here to yellow wire. You can see at this point R phase wire is connected and at this point Y phase wire is connected. This means to one winding two phase power supply is connected. So this connection is right. Let's check for second terminal. I connected prop on this terminal, I mean at Y wire. Output of this is connected at this point. So we will get output at this point. After connecting the probe, turn on the contactor. I am getting continuity here, blue wire is connected here. And here also blue wire is connected with blue wire. It means here it is Y phase and here it is B phase. So this winding will also get two phase power supply. Let's check for the third wire also. After connecting probe, check for continuity. We are getting continuity. It means everything is perfectly alright. We have to check this only. In star connection, wires above this are short and below here you can connect any wire anywhere it does not matter. So there is no need to check star connection. We only have to check delta connection. If you still didn't got the connections, then you can refer to this circuit diagram, then you will understand it completely. The wiring which I performed is same as this one. Only the color coding of wire is different here. It does not matter what color coding is. I explained you the whole concept. If we run this motor through star delta starter, then first star contactor will turn on, after this main contactor. To start this, what I will do first is, I am turning on the star contactor. Here I turn this on. After this, turn on the main contactor. You can see motor started running. Now the timer which is connected with star delta starter, what it will do, it will turn off the star contactor and quickly turn on the delta contactor. So you can see here how instantly our motor started running in delta connection. So if your star contactor and main contactor is on, then motor will run in star connection. After that if star contactor goes off and delta contactor turns on, then in this condition motor will run in delta connection. Friends during the connection, you somehow performed reverse connection or if your motor starts running in wrong direction. Then if you want to learn how to change the running direction of motor in star delta starter then please click on the right hand side video. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video.